this video is for educational purposes only and only those competent in electrical wiring and electrical safety procedures should attempt this wiring. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you another way to wire a three-way switch system with the power coming to the light. On a previous episode of Sparky Channel, I showed you how to run it with a 12-3 cable coming to here and a 12-3 cable coming over to here. And the advantage to that one is you're just using 12-3 cables and there's only two cables. The disadvantage is that this box right here did not have a neutral. This is allowed by the 2020 NEC in some instances. This system here was the second in the series and we have the 12-2 with ground coming into the box in, in all three varieties of installations. But in this one, we have a 12-3 with ground coming to this box, and we have a 12-4 with ground coming to this box. It only takes two cables. You get uh, a neutral in both of the boxes. It works great. The disadvantage is this is pretty pricey, this 12-4 with ground. I checked it today, it's uh, 81 cents a foot. Even though it's a great way to run it, you might not want to do to the expense. So today, I'm going to show you another way to do it. We're going to have this cable here is going to be a 12-2 with ground. So that'll save you some money there. And then this is going to be a 12-3 with ground, which will save you some money over the 12-4 with ground price. But then we're going to have to have a 12-2 with ground coming up to the light here. So you're going to have to have one more cable but the cables are cheaper. So that's why I'm showing you all three methods for wiring this system with, with the power coming to the light on a three-way switch. You can make an informed, educated decision of how you want to do it. So I'm going to change this out to a 12-2. I'm going to change this out to a 12-3. I'm going to add a 12-2 with ground here, and then we can get started. So I've got the cabling done here with all the cables marked as to what they are. You see, the power is coming into the light box here. This is going to have a mud ring on it for a light box. And then the three-way switches are going to be here and here. And I'm going to have mud rings like, like these on these boxes. So this is labeled hot. This is where the power comes into the light box. See, this is the way it was done in the 40s, 50s, 60s houses, and even before. Uh, the power came into the light boxes a lot. We really don't do that anymore. We come into the switch box. This is the line. This is the cable that's going to go to the first switch box. This is going to bring this unswitched power to this box. I've, I've labeled this line right down here and this cable is a 12-2 with ground. We got two conductors, the black and the white. That'd be the hot and the neutral. And we have a ground wire. And it's the same right up here. Okay, so that's it's our first cable, the hot cable. That's a 12-2 with ground. Then we've got the line cable going to the first switch box. And that's a 12-2 with ground. And each of the boxes have these equipment grounding conductors in the back because this metal box is considered equipment and we want to make sure and bond that to the grounding system of the house so that's what these green wires are this is a traveler wire it goes from the first switch box to the second switch box and this is a 12-3 with ground we have three conductors red and black hot wire a white neutral wire and a bare ground wire and then over here we have the same traveler wire see this this and this are the same cable so it is again a 12 3 with ground and here's your egc for the metal box equipment grounding conductor here's your load cable right here this is going to go to your light your light is the load of this system it is a 12 2 with ground and it's going to come up here to the light box. And the light is going to be hooked to this 
cable and we're going to be able to switch it on and off with these three-way switches. So we've got the light, the first three-way switch, the second three-way switch. 12 2, 12-2, 12-3, 12-3, 12-2, 12-2. So this is a typical system you would see in a 50s or 60s house except that we have a ground wire. Generally in a 50s, 60s, even an early 70s house, you're not going to find any ground wires. So that's, that's the difference. But other than that, this, this is the system you'll generally see in an older home. The first thing I'm going to do is get my grounds together here in the light box. So this is your EGC. You're going to put that in there all the way, clamp it down. Next ground wire, put it all the way in there, clamp it down. Next ground wire, clamp it down. Next ground wire, clamp it down. Then I got one open space for the pigtail that goes to the light itself. Okay, we're going to get our neutrals together here. So this is a Wago Levernet 2 connector. We'll put it right on there and right on there like that. Okay, so here's our black hot wires. You see, the power is coming in right here and it's going to go out right here. And so this is unswitched power that's going to go to this box. So I'm just going to take this Hook that together, and hook that together, and we're going to put that in the back of the box. We have a hot and neutral, and a space for the ground for the light. Okay, now I'm going to get the grounds together in the first three-way switch box. So we have this ground, and that one, here's the EGC, put that all the way in there. Okay, so here's our grounds. And then we're going to have one that goes to the three-way switch. You see, this is your common. This is where the hot wire is going to go. Right here, the black common. Here's your two brass colored terminals. Right here, these are your traveler terminals. And these two are going to go to the traveler terminals. So this is a three-way switch. There's no on and off on here. And you put it with the letters T-O-P, top on top. I have a pigtail on the three-way switch right now so that's going to go right in here all the way in and click that down. Okay so this is going to go in the back of the box. Okay so now we're going to get the neutrals together and this three-way switch does not take a neutral. Now if I was to use a three-way switch like this, this a Leviton a voice activated dimmer with Alexa, see it has a neutral so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a three conductor Wago lever nut. I only have two neutral wires right now, but if we want to upgrade this in the future, we're going to have a spot right there for a neutral wire like this. See, so that's going to make it a lot easier. So just kind of thinking ahead a little bit, and this goes in the back of the box. And notice, we have nice big boxes, and I'm going to put a mud ring on it. It's just a single gang box right here when you put this mud ring on. So you got all this room here to the side for wires and, and so forth. I really recommend using a nice big box, whether it's plastic or metal. So now, this is your power wire, your line wire. Okay, it says line right on there, and on the first switch, we're going to connect that to the common, to the black common terminal. There we go. Nice secure connection. So now, with the word top on top, we're going to hook up the traveler wires. And my suggestion is to do it the same on each of these three-way switches or four-way switches. Keep your red wires either on the top or the bottom all the way through. I like to put them on the top. It really doesn't matter. Tighten it securely. And then the black traveler wire, I'm going to put to the lower traveler terminal. There. So now I'm going to move on to the second 
three-way switch box. First thing I'm going to do is get the grounds together. So this is a five conductor Wago lever nut. Put the first one right in there. Second one right in there. The third one all the way in there. Okay, then I got, here's the, the second three-way switch. You got your common and the two traveler terminals. And then this one already has a pigtail on it. So I'm going to put this right in here. Tighten that all the way down. I'll just, I'll just let this hang down for the moment. I'll close that one up. So this three-way switch does not take a neutral. But if I was to use this digital switch that goes with this voice activated dimmer right here, you see, it's got a silver terminal. So it would need a neutral. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to use a three-conductor Wago lever nut. And I'll put the first neutral conductor in, the second neutral conductor in. And see, I have an empty space here. If I would like to upgrade in the future, it's ready to go. So here's our traveler wires. See, I have TVL on the sheathing right there. So these are traveler wires. And we're going to do it identically to what we did in the first box. I'll have the red traveler wire on the top, the black traveler wire on the bottom. And okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Tighten it down securely. And here's our black traveler wire. Tighten that down securely. Okay, so now here's our load wire. It says load right here, load. And we're going to attach that to the black common terminal right here. And going to tighten that down securely. Now we're going to move up to the light box again. I've put a pigtail on the five conductor Wago lever nut for the grounds. And I've put two connector Wago lever nuts on both the neutral and the hot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mud ring on. So now we have hot, neutral, and ground all ready to go for the light. So I just want to twist these, give them a nice twist before you put them in. All the way in, there you go. There's your hot, all the way in. Okay, so our light is installed. Okay, so now I'm putting the mud rings onto the three-way switches. You just slip them over like that. I've put my mud rings on both of the boxes. I just slipped them over the receptacles. I normally put them on a little earlier, but I like to, for the videos, I like to keep them off as long as I can for visibility. I'm going to put some black electrician's tape around the terminals for safety. This protects your terminals from bumping against the ground wire or against the metal box. Now I have the backing plates for the screwless wall plates in place. Of course, the backing plates have screws, okay? But they, but they call them screwless wall plates. You just snap it on like that and snap it on like that. There you go. So now I've turned the circuit breaker on and let's test it out. Okay, that worked, that worked. That turns it off, that turns it on. Okay, we're good, this works great. So this is the way that you're gonna find, you know, your 40s, 50s and 60s, some 70s houses wired with the power coming to the light. So that gives you a good idea of, of how it's done. Here's a drawing of the wiring that we just did. Here's the hot cable coming into the light box. And this is the neutral and this is the hot. And we just connect these two together, the neutral and the hot. And we go down this 12-2 that says with ground, but I'm leaving out the grounds in this drawing for simplicity. So we go down this line cable, which in my case is 12-2. You can use 14-2 if you like. You can use 14 gauge for lighting circuits. So here's my 12-2 and it comes down. And this hot wire, which has extended all the way from here, is connected to the common terminal. So this provides a wire that is hot all the time to the first three-way switch. And here's your neutral. 
the neutrals are just connected together in this box and then we go across here from this three-way switch to this three-way switch with a 12-3 and it is comprised of a red wire a white neutral wire and a black wire so the red wire I like to put on top and keep it on top and we go right across here and it goes over here to the traveler terminal the upper traveler terminal this black traveler wire goes here we start at the bottom traveler terminal of the first three-way switch and we go over here to the bottom traveler terminal of the second three-way switch and the neutral is brought across and connected here together so the neutral will then be feeding into the load cable so we have this black wire that comes from the load cable going to the common terminal of the second three-way switch and so it comes up here along with this neutral it comes up here through this load cable the 12 2 and now we have the black and the white that are connected to the light so that is your three-way switch and this is the method that you'll find in older homes the preference today is to bring the power into one of the switches first thanks i hope this video was helpful i'll put links in my video description for the wago lever nuts in the two three and five connector sizes for the weha xeno drive number two screwdriver I'll put links for the 2020 NEC spiral bound code book and the 2020 NEC hard copy handbook. And I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus three-way switches. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.